Today I'm doing my one month one palette video for September. I am quite a bit late on this. I just didn't have time to film anything till now. So I'm going to share with you the palettes that I used last month and I'm going to show you the two new palettes that I picked. So first off, the palettes that I picked last month were the Lime Crime Aquitania palette and the Pure Minerals Beautiful Creatures palette. And I'm going to start with the Beautiful Creatures one. And this is just a neutral palette right here. They're actually pretty small shadows. I used mostly this one here. I used this one here. And I also used these two neutrals right here, mostly out of this. Um, I did use some of the other colors at least once, but mostly this one, this one, this one, and this one, the more lighter neutral colors. I was actually really disappointed in this one. I wanted to use this one, and I liked kind of olive green color, but it did not show up like this for me when I used it, so I was a little bit disappointed in that. I might try it again some other time to see if I can use it in a different way, but when I used it, I didn't really like how it looked. This was an okay palette. Uh, I wouldn't get rid of it necessarily, because I do like that it has the purples, and the purples were pretty nice in here, but it's nothing special, so yeah. I didn't hate it, I didn't love it. It, it really isn't all that exciting. Now the one that I did like was the Lime Crime Aquitania palette, and they don't make these palettes anymore. I think they only have like two palettes now, but that is what it looks like, and these are actually really pigmented colors. I particularly like this green, right there. It stays really nicely under my lash line, which most shadows don't. They usually fade out pretty quickly, and this one lasts a pretty long time. And they're all very nicely pigmented colors, and I love bright colors that are actually pigmented and show up. So I do really enjoy this palette, and it's a little bit more unusual than most of the bright colored palettes that I have. They are usually more like hot pinks, red, stuff like that. So I do like the color selection here as well. It's got a really nice coral as well that I like. So I am glad that I do have that palette and I am going to keep it and use it. So I do really like that palette. Unfortunately, it's not something you can get anymore. To be honest, I think most things that I have now are things you can't get anymore. You can't get the Beautiful Creatures one either, unfortunately. Uh, but that one, that one's just okay. I mean, the Pure Minerals formula is pretty good. I just was a little bit disappointed in that green color, and the rest of them are pretty average neutrals. So I do have two new palettes that I'm going to use. Even though I call this One Month, One Palette, just for the title so that it, you know, it kind of goes along with what everyone else does. I do tend to pick more than one just because I have a lot. And also some of them are quite a bit smaller or they're colors that I like to mix together. So even though I call it one month, one palette, it's usually going to be two, unless it's a large palette. So the first one I have is actually just a quad and that is the MAC Call Me Bubbles eyeshadow quad. And it looks like this. And this is actually one of my favorite MAC quads that I have. And I have a lot of them because for a while all their limited editions included these. This is actually one of my favorites. I love these colors. These are beautiful colors and I love oranges and pinks and coppers and stuff like that. 
And then my next palette is an old Kat Von D one, and this one was actually before. They, I, I feel like they must have reformulated the eyeshadows like a while ago because I have some later Kat Von D palettes and they are much better than this one. I just have not used this in so long so I thought I would give it a shot and see how it goes because the colors are really pretty but I don't remember loving the quality of the shadows so I'm giving it a shot to see how I like it. If they're terrible I probably wouldn't keep it, but if I like them at least enough to keep it, you know, I really want to find that out. So it is the Kat Von D True Romance Eyeshadow Palette in Angelus. It looks like this. And these are the colors right here. And these are definitely colors that I like. It's got the kind of copper color, the browns, and then these colors. This one right here is especially a very pretty color, although it's a little bit more blue than I personally love to wear usually. But it's also got the teals, so that helps. I can wear blue if it's like a blue-green, but then it's got this weird cream shadow right here which I've never liked. It's kind of a pearly white color. It looks a little bit more blue in my viewfinder, but it's really more of just a pearly white, and I don't understand its purpose there. <laughs> but I remember not being totally impressed with this. I bought it online, and it was on clearance when I bought it. So I want to give it a shot and see if I like it or not. Uh, I do feel like later Kat Von D palettes that I got had better quality than this. So I think they must have reformulated their eyeshadows after this palette, but we'll see how it goes. So that is it for my one month one palette update and new items. I won't have a full month with these probably just because I'm doing this really late, but I should be able to get some good use out of them anyway, so yeah. If you haven't checked out my previous video, it will be linked to the side, and my Project Pay and Playlist is also linked to the side, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!